Hello, this is Amber's Chick Flicks, my second video of a beginner's guide. This is my incubator, and I want to tell you and show you how to regulate humidity. This is a little giant incubator. Very nice. But I do have to say, the humidity gauge is not right. I know this because it's only regulated for the about 50 to 80% humidity. It will not work for the lower dry hatches. So I have that in there and that one says 17% humidity. And this one in here that says 18% humidity. So I just wanna show you that these are, little things are on Amazon very nice and these are my eggs these are silver apple yard eggs I put a circle and an X on each side of each egg so I'm gonna be rotating three times a day in my incubator and we're gonna see how that works with the dry hatch. All right, the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is humidity. A lot of people have trouble with humidity and they have it too high and they drown the eggs. And so throughout this incubation process, I will show the liquid as I'm candling and hopefully we won't have any extra liquid, but I will post pictures during the video of stuff that has the extra liquid. This is a cap, and this also helps regulate humidity. And so you put it in here. That means the humidity can't escape as quickly. So it would be raised up. So I personally, since I'm dry hatching, and the humidity is so low at 70% right now, I'm going to have both of those in there. There's two of them. So it's about 20%. It should raise a little bit as soon as I put some of those eggs in. And if you want to lower the humidity like it's too high, you can take one of these out. It's very simple, very easy to do. And even though you take these out, it's not gonna hurt your temperature. The temperature is going to be good. Um, the second thing you can do is I'm going to open this up and show you. Is this incubator has several different channels throughout here. The middle ones are all the same size. The two outer ones are the same size. You can see so there's two different sizes, the two outside ones, and the four inner ones. So what I recommend doing before incubation is to test the humidity using these channels. So I'd recommend filling one of these up, letting it sit for two hours, recording the humidity, empty it out, dry it out, and then fill this one. And then do the same thing, record it so you know the humidity when you put that in there. And if it's still low, I'd recommend filling two of these. One right here and one right here. See what the uh, humidity is. And if that's too high, clean it out, pour it out, dry it. And after uh, fill these two... Wait two hours, look at the humidity, and see if that's good. So, always play around with your incubator before you start hatching. Okay. These, I will candle for you in just one second. I'm going to turn off the light. I got to get my... Oh. This is going to be the flashlight I'm using currently. 
I do not have a um, extension cord for that one. This this is my favorite. I got that on uh, Fleet Farm. It's very dark. This is the when you want it to be extremely dark. Hard to do this without a mount. I'm going to lay it on the side so you can see. See how it glows? That is what you want to see. You can turn it, see if there's any cracks. This is the best way to do it. And I'm not going to do all of them because they are all glowing. They're all the same. You can see the air pocket in that one. This one you can see a small air pocket. Right at the top. See right there. They're very small. These are only a couple of days old. Lots of little air pockets. That one's easy to see. But they're all glowing. And I've already candled these. These do not have any cracks. Um, I haven't really done incubation with cracks. So, uh, I plan to try to do that and record a video and hopefully show success. And right now I'm putting them in with the O up. And if you do have cracked ones, depending on how bad the crack is, you can always put some wax on it. You can put some sealant on it, kind of like a liquid band-aid, which is what I have done in the past. But it didn't hatch because I did not have my humidity right. Because I was hatching my first year here with duck eggs. And I was still thinking that I have to hatch at the 55% that most people say you have to hatch at. And that most incubators say you need to hatch at. I was wrong. Everybody is different. And this is why I'm recording these videos is to show how I incubate personally. And how I have learned how to change that. So... All my eggs zeros up I am going to be hand turning these eggs and I will be candling each and every day uh, once a day at least so right now this is day zero okay day zero we say that because well that's how long they've been in here. They haven't even been in here for an hour. Day one is after 24 hours. This is how you're supposed to, but if you start on day one, just know that your eggs are going to be hatching a day late with your records. But they're still in here the same amount of time, no matter what day you start out on. And that egg rolled a little bit, but that's fine. And, um... Later tonight, I'm going to make sure that the humidity is at least at 20%. Um, this is my first time dry hatching. I hope to do good. Last year, I hatched at 33% humidity for my duck eggs. And I got about a 60% hatch rate. And some of them were pipping and dying in the shell. And when... They died, I opened it up, it, they drowned. There was too much extra liquid. And I had two of them that pipped, were doing really well, and then suddenly started rotating in the shell without pipping. I thought it was weird. I felt I needed to help, but I did not help because of all everything that people say. In fact, I should have helped because they died, like, the next hour. And I opened it up, and there was no yolk sac. They were ready to hatch. They just didn't 
crack the shell along their way brown zipping they it wasn't even drowning there was very little liquid in the egg and they just passed away um but i hope that this will give people a way to hatch and to hopefully be successful and I can show you what I look for when I candle eggs. I can show you infertile eggs on day 10. I can show you what days I toss them and everything. If you have any comments, questions, please comment and do that. I'll be happy to answer. And follow and like if you want to follow this process. Because as I said, I will be candling every single day. Uh, thank you very much.